Hi everybody, today we are going to create flat drawings of five pocket jeans and how a designer should create five pocket flat drawings. So let's jump onto the screen straight away without wasting any time. My favorite workspace is always Essentials Classic. It has all the options that I've been using for years and I continue doing so. Command zero and I'm working on Mac, so I'm gonna be talking more about command and option. I'm gonna start with center front, straight line, which becomes the center front and then make it slightly drapey, can have a little bit of curve on the shape. I'm keeping the top line a little curved so that we can add some details at the back. We're always going to work on on fold as design and uh, remember to zoom in, zoom out always to have more accurate lines. I'm choosing from the white arrow, shortcut you know right by now, shortcut is or white arrow. I'm copying the side line because we should not be skipping the side seam. So command C, command F and I move with the arrow buttons on the keyboard this becomes my side seam which is kind of parallel it's easy to indicate i'll keep give more space because i might want to give some stitches on the side seam and then we move to creating the pocket shape remember that your pocket shape can vary from a shape like this to a shape even like this or it can be even deeper and the minimum space that you can have is for the hand to slide in. I will keep it back to where it was earlier. I prefer this kind of a shape, which is slightly lesser curvy. Now let's start doing the seams, the stitch lines. So since denims uh, mostly have double needle top stitches, so command C, command F, I copied the same line and I'll just resize it. Oh yes, I need to remove this white fill. the other shapes so this is kind of um, the shape that I want as double stitch double needle top stitch and here I'm going to reduce with the stroke value I'm going to reduce it to 0.5 and I'm going to give the dash value as let's say 2 by 0.5 now copy again command C command F or control C control F on Windows and just resize it and bring it down that becomes your double needle top stitch then let's move to creating the fly going down to create the fly slight curve mostly jean flies are something like this it doesn't really form a perfect j and go diagonal but the angle is slightly downwards v to select black arrow and i for the eyedropper so i can copy the stitch line and then I again make command C, command F, and I create this parallel line. Simple. None of your top stitches should be missed out on flat drawings. Each and every construction detail has to be followed. So please do not miss out on any of these technical details. Otherwise, you know what will happen? Your garment will come out to be faulty, and then you'll have to send it back for iterations and changes and that's going to take a lot of extra time for you. I'm copying the same curve, Command C, Command F once again, and I move it further up. Because what do I want to do? I want to create the waistline, right? So the waistband. And uh, by the way, if you're finding my videos helpful, definitely do not forget to subscribe to the channel and follow it. Joining these two lines and I join these here at the edge. Let me see when I zoom out. It's slightly thinner. So let's bring, make it bigger. Select this curve and select this and I bring this up. Right? And a little bit more. I'll align this curve with the side line. Yeah. There you go. And maybe I'll just bring this back to the shape where it was. Let me yeah, match it here. Right? Let's align this also. Ah. as not the tight line. Yeah. There. Okay. Similarly, I think we need to match this. See, see how it helps to, to zoom in and work because then you're more accurate. You're very, very accurate in your lines. Now I copy the curve, command C, command F. For what? For the stitch lines once again. 
and then again I press A and I copy the curve command C command F and I bring the curve up and then again press I and what else yes there has to be this stitch that has to go up although they're stitched separately but this can go up I still feel that the waistline is still very narrow I'm going to still bring it up the loop. Um, if I press D while having a shape, I'll get by default black outline and white fill. These are some shortcuts that will speed up your work. And again, Command C, Command F to copy the line. One more time, Command C, Command F to copy another line and select both. Press I for the eyedropper and copy that. Now I'll tell you a small trick which I use mostly how to create a bar tag. I take the text tool and I type V V V V V V V right and uh, then what I do is uh, I, ha I want to bring the spacing of the letters together closer so I'll press option and with the arrow button I'm going to bring it closer. Can you see that? Reduce the size to like really really tiny and that becomes the bar tag. If you're still, if it's still not enough, then just keep typing B. Lots of Bs. So that is basically like your satin stitch. There we go. Uh, what else? Don't miss out on this side. Command C, Command F. Because if you notice, there'll always be a stitch line here. This is the space where you may have scope to do something like could add a little embroidery or give a thicker stitch or do something on the side and give a little design detail there. Anyways, we're done almost. Let's do the insane command C, command F. And with the white arrow, I'm going to select till here. So all these anchor points that you see have been selected. You see this? This is the non-selected anchor point, which has white, but the ones that are selected is blue. I selected with the white arrow, and I'm going to again do Command C, Command F, and then I move it in and create the inseam. Slightly bring it up. And I remove the white fill because it is interrupting the line and I'm going to give another one, Command C, Command F. Now this will become the stitch line, the top stitch, the edge stitch. You can give it double needle, you can give it single needle, it's all up to you. And extend it up. There you go. So we have kind of created one half of the uh, front of the five pocket jeans. Now the hem, Command C, Command F. I'm pressing Shift to move faster. Uh, with bigger gaps, it's shift. If I remove shift, then I'm moving point by point. So if you want to move faster, press shift and it'll move in bigger jumps. There and I. Now if you pay attention to details, you see that there are these little gaps remaining. So press A, bring this down. So guys, um, Make sure that all these little details are taken care of because if any of these lines are left here and there, it's very easy for professionals or your seniors or the designers in the industry to figure out that you're not so much into details and that's a big minus for a designer. Mostly it is double needle top stitches on here. If you want, you can give it here as well. Command C, Command F, the same thing. I did. Yeah. There we go. All right, now we move to copying the entire thing and then I use this reflect tool where you hold this option, rotate on the toolbar on the left. Uh, when you hold uh, the, the mouse, you'll get this reflect tool. Now having the object selected, the entire thing selected, double click, vertical and copy. See, and press V. And here's another copy. So without wasting extra layers, I'll just remove these, these elements which are not really needed. And I'm going to group it, Command G. I'll group this separately, Command G. And I'll place it one on top of each other about this much. What do we need to do? Now, 
You remember the shortcut to either to bring to back, which is when you select this object, right click and arrange. I know the keyboard option, so I'm going to use the keyboard op option going forward, but right now I'll show you. This is how you send this to back, okay? So this is pretty much your style and slightly a little bit. You can move here because this part is looking a little awkward. Now, just to make this look a little okay, we can just create this little line which shows like a fold of the crotch and having that selected with your stroke, window stroke. And when you open this furthermore, profile and use this option and then you have this pointed edges. So this becomes the front. Now what is left here as a part of the five pocket is the coin pocket. You can create many styles of coin coin pocket. It doesn't have to be just like how Levi's does, but you can do in various ways, which, which I'd like to see from you. Let's just make it from straight lines. One, two, I'm just showing you other options how to make your stitch lines faster. Parallel, parallel, and here, and then once we press V, multiple selection, I press the shift key and I'm selecting all of them together and eyedropper and copy paste. All right, so this is pretty much your front. Now, for the sake of flat drawings, you can just create a button like this and to show the button hole which stays behind I brought it to front command G group it although I want these lines to be thinner yeah bring this down that becomes the button now what else is left we have to create the rivets so again rivet As an indicator, you can even leave it like this, but if you want to further work on it, you can once you command F and copy the same thing and select both, group it. So now you can copy paste or you can just press option or alt in your Windows keyboard and drag and drop, you'll get multiple copies. So this is another way of making copies of any object. Just press alt on your Windows keyboard or option on Mac and click and drag. So that way you can make multiple copies of the same object. That's the faster way of doing it. Most of the flat drawings that you'll see, even on WGSN, the waistband is straight. But here, the reason to have this uh, scooped shape so that you can show details on the inside of the waist. And there's a lot of scope in customizing your five pocket jeans design when you also pay attention to the inside of the waistband where you have the scope to add a contrast, fabric, add some embroidery or branding details, anything, everything. Again, copy this, command C, command F, move it down to create the waistband inside, slightly more. Copy, command C, command F, and I'll pr press I. Once again, I'll copy Command-C, Command-F. Since, since there are double stitches outside, it has to be inside as well. Command-C, Command-F. Command-C, Command-F once again. So, yeah. Just going to be showing at the back slightly. I'll send it to back. Command-Shift. Square bracket. Furthermore, down because it just shows very little bit. Center back and to the other side of the back yeah all right now um so as i said uh, you can even color it a little gray or something just to show that it is the inside okay and the spot can go away yeah there you go with the pencil tool whisker effects and you can use any of these options These are chevrons, which I'm trying to create here. These can be created through this option where it has like a thicker starting and the 
end is really pointed. Same here. Do we need to change the profile of this? Once again, I think I selected something else. Yeah. And use the easels well. Yeah. Oh, I definitely don't like this curve, so I can trim that. We reduce the transparency or we just color it as gray. Anything is fine. It just has to be as light. If you see these are now gray. What was the transparency? 35. And change it back to 35. Yeah, there you go. So yes, we're done with the front. Now let's create the back. And for that, let's watch this video right here. Somewhere.